the starting 11 for Sweden. Well, I think they have a nice balance to their team. A solid back four, two holding midfielders, three creative players in advance of them, and a mobile centre forward. It's a good team. And the starting 11 for Australia. Well, the shape is the same, but they may play it in a slightly different way. And key to this game will be the fullbacks. Do they tuck in alongside their centre halves or look to support their wingers? I hope it's the latter. Hi, friends, it's India Footy, back with yet another match review video. In this video, we will review and analyze the 2023 FIFA Women's World Cup third place match, which was played between Sweden and Australia. The early stages of the match were characterized by intense midfield battles as both teams vied for control of the ball and territorial dominance. The defenses on both sides were resolute, denying any clear-cut chances in the initial moments. In the 30th minute, the balance of the game shifted dramatically when Sweden was awarded a penalty following a well-executed attacking move that put the Australian defence under pressure. Swedish forward Fridolina Rolfo stepped up to take the penalty with nerves of steel and converted it expertly, sending the ball past the diving Australian goalkeeper into the back of the net. The goal provided Sweden with a valuable lead and ignited the spirits of the Swedish contingent. The second half began with Australia determined to mount a comeback and salvage a result from the match. They displayed renewed energy and attacked with more intent, testing the Swedish defence with swift passing and incisive movements. However, Sweden's backline stood firm, repelling the Australian advances. In the 62nd minute, Sweden extended their lead, stunning the Australian side once again. This time, it was midfielder Kosovare Aslani who found the back of the net. A well-orchestrated attacking play allowed Aslani to capitalize on a defensive lapse and calmly slot the ball home, putting Sweden in a commanding position with a two-goal lead. Australia responded to the setback with renewed determination, launching waves of attacks in an effort to reduce the deficit. Despite their best efforts, Australia was unable to breach the Swedish defence and find a way back into the match. The final whistle blew, confirming Sweden's victory in the third-place match of the 2023 FIFA Women's World Cup.